Welcome to Simulator Adventures and welcome back to Train Simulator. Now I've done a few videos on Train Simulator over the years. Uh, today we're having a look at this, the Midlands um, London to Bedford line, which I think is quite interesting. We're here, we've got a big freight train. Uh, good afternoon driver, welcome to the cab of the Class 66. It's very nice, yeah. These cement wagons are being taken to Earl's Sidings in the Peak District. But, but we will, we'll only be taking them as far as Bedford. Yeah, it's a bit annoying about that in train sim. You can't really do the massive uh, routes, really. But, you know, it's not quite like Flight Simulator where you've got the whole world. You know, you've got very detailed routes. Remember not to exceed 60 miles per hour due to the wagon's speed restrictions, right? Uh, in order to release or apply the train brakes, the lever must be always moved to 100% of its travel. I think I understand that. Do you have to go like that? Yeah, there you go. And then so that takes off the brake pressure. Okay. Now we have got a red light, so I don't really want to move. Okay. And there goes a um, commuter train. Got a got a nice horn actually. <laughs> uh, we're not gonna get past that. So what have we got? We got about maybe fifteen cars, something like that. It's kind of cool. What are we taking again? I don't know. Like they're like tanks, aren't they? Uh, I can't really work out what they are. Not to be loose or hump shunted. Wow, it's a bit rude. Oh, that's headlights, isn't it? Junction locked. Okay, we can go. Let's put those lights back on. There you go. Uh, is that the wrong side now? Yeah. Yeah, it's that side, isn't it? Right, off we go. Don't know why that's popped up. I don't really know what it means. So we're going over. I was about to look in a mirror then. Or oh, actually, it's. What are they? Is that a mirror? That is a mirror. Or, or is it like a wind deflector? Oh, I don't know. That that could either be a mirror or a wind deflector, but the mirror isn't actually reflecting anything. So I'm guessing it's a wind deflector. If you know about the Class 66, let me know. That's kind of cool. Is that? Because I guess with one of these trains, you would need to see behind you because you've got the uh, massive amount of carriages behind you and trailers or whatever. Not carriages, trailers. You know, and you need to. Uh, See behind you when you're reversing. Right, let's go full speed. We are a freight time going through Luton. So, uh, oh, it's actually quite a long route. Look at that. So we've only got about a 25 minute scenario here. Um, and yeah, I've just been kind of enjoying Train Sim over the past few years. You know, I I don't play it very often. Um, but you know, this is a scenario I, I or like a route pack. I got quite recently. It's just a standard Dovetail Games one. I'll leave it. I'm, well, if I remember to, I'll leave a link in the description. But if you just want to search it up, um, it's the London to Bedford route, the Midlands main line. And it's very loud in here. Are the windows open or something? No. I'm still getting the classic sort of laggy, stuttery uh, gameplay from train sim. Keep your feet off. Wow. So people are just putting their feet up there. Wow. So like we've got a lot of buttons in here. Sander. Train brake. Horn. Um... The reverser, power handle. Can we trip over here? Yes. Got first aid. What is that? Windscreen washer. Oh, that one doesn't work. I'm going up here. Auto start. No. So not everything you can press, but a lot of it you can. Electromotive. Data meter. English metric. Well, I'm a. Uh, ooh. Headlights. 
Whoa. Cab lights. Better. Um, yeah, let's put it on. Just, uh, you know, enjoy the scenery. Oh, no! We're being overtaken. I was just sitting there in the quiet. Well, not really quiet, because it's, like, so loud in here. But we've just been overtaken. No! Oh, look at this traffic, though. Got one train there. Train coming this way. And another one there. Wow! I'm amazed. This is a quick train, but for a freight train, it's quite quick. I don't know if in real life they would be going this quick. Probably not. Yeah, I do like the horn. I like the horn a lot. Uh, this summer, I'm going to be planning to get... Uh, I'm just going to try my best to get um, the uh, Train Sim World because I really want to play it. It looks, it looks good. I mean, I'm not. I don't know if I'll enjoy it as much as this because I think this has a lot more variety of the missions and the kind of DLC you can get. But I mean, they're working on Train Sim World, so it doesn't really matter, does it? But uh, yeah, I'll be uh, spending some money on that. I'll play it on this channel. See what I think. See if it runs any better than this. Um, although this is, this is actually running okay at the moment. And I mean, just about okay. It's like, good enough. But yeah, I'll uh, do some videos on that. And this uh, is really sort of like, you can, um, I really like you guys to tell me the kind of things you'd like to see. You can see me do something specific in Train Sim. Um, I should really bring out the jet train at some point. I can't remember if I did do a video on the jet train because I know I talked about the jet train when I talked about um, what was it called uh, that top 10 list I did but I've got a few weeks uh, during the summer so right, right now to basically just make quite a few videos let's slow down a bit just make quite a few videos uh, have a nice summer playing some games I want to catch up on uh, you know my most people will be going outside in the summer, but I'm going to be sitting here. Well, I'm going on holiday, but I'll have some videos lined up for when I go. Um, but I'll also begin to be playing some games that I'm, I haven't played forever. Maybe try and... Um, I mean, uh, this my voice, fun fact, up, up until this point, and probably in, well into the future, my voice is the only voice that has appeared in this on this channel. I, I've never had anyone else do anything with me. And I have got some ideas and some plans to get uh, some of the people onto this channel. It's just whether they're available or whether they want to do it. I don't know what you guys think about that. What kind of collaboration with someone else. Um, obviously I'm still quite a new channel. Uh, we're still building up the subscriber count. I'm really uh, amazed really of how much it's grown. I mean this is the fastest I've ever, cause I've had a few other channels on YouTube. This is the fastest any of my channels have grown. Like we're almost a hundred subs now after just over a year. And I know that doesn't sound much because you know channels out there now are massive. But I think there's still a lot of space on YouTube for simulation gaming channels. Um, still, we've got some channels that are quite just don't take the stuff seriously, um, which I think is annoying. I think that's really annoying. Uh, sim games are a serious gaming genre. They need to have kind of respect put behind them instead of people just making fun of the games. You know, there's games like Goat Simulator, which of course you know they're not proper simulator games. Um, but then there's games like this. You know, it's it's got flaws. It's not perfect, but it's quite fun. It's quite detailed. It's quite serious. Um, been I watch videos and people are just deliberately crashing stuff. I mean, I do do that in city car driving. To be fair, city car driving is different. It's like 
the cars in that game don't handle that great. I am, um, I mean, yeah, I, no, I think about it, the least I don't act very seriously in titty car driving, do I? Um, but there will be more of that coming, so I hope you, I hope you like my non-serious driving, but there you go. Oh. The trees are very grey over there. It's kind of weird. Now we're going to be overtaken again. Doesn't look like we are. So the class 66. It's quite a cool looking train actually. I think they still run them on the lines. Um, oh look, you can see, look at that. Now that's cool, you can see right through the engine. Oh, oh no, no, no. How long was that going for? No. That wasn't going for very long, was it? Oh, no. I hate it when this happens. Can we not, like, acknowledge? Acknowledge. Oh. Oh, that's a train length button. No. Right, so train length. Okay, I'll, I'll, we'll have to test. We'll have to test that later. So basically, yeah, the train length is like, I think you push it down and then it makes a, a beep, and then it beeps again when you have passed the bit of the when you've passed the point where you pushed it. So it shows how long the train was. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. First, we've got to get moving though. We're going to be late. I've got the flashing light at the back. Let's have a look around. So it's not that detailed, is it, this area? Um, all these buildings are the same, pretty much. I mean, actually... Oh, look. They've got the same house, but different coloured garage... D what? Are you joking? I mean, the garage is not facing the street. Really? I mean, that's not important, but... Oh, look at that. And different doors. I mean, this is a very common style of door in the UK. This kind of port like plastic door. Um, I mean it's pretty clear that oh wow you can literally, I mean that actually looks like someone sitting there in that chair. They've literally just taken pictures of stuff haven't they? Yeah well I mean it works. You, you, don't, you don't ever see those houses so it doesn't really matter. You only see them like when you're passing at 50 miles an hour. Right, so now, train length. There you go. Yeah, wow, that's, that's kind of a cool feature. Got a sander. The locomotive brake. Which we don't need, I mean. I think the, uh, the train brake is way strong enough. These could almost be like speakers, couldn't they? You could have like a really true surround surround sound experience. Wow, look at that. Yeah, and it goes around here as well. I mean, they're not speakers. Oh, come on. They're not speakers, obviously. They're like vents or just a bit of design. I don't really know. I mean, nothing in here is designed to look good. It's all f um, function over form, isn't it? Um, okay, it's a chair, though. The, the arm looks really high res compared to the rest of the seat. Um, nice bit of tunnel action. very dark. And those actually do glow. Look at that. They actually do glow. So that's kind of cool. Uh, can we not... Was the cab light not on? Oh, it is on. 
Why is it so quiet then? Why is it so quiet? Dark. It's so dark. I haven't been able to speak this week, I don't know. Do you get that sometimes when you just can't speak properly for a, a few days? Um. Ah! Oh! Wow. And look, you, a you actually do get to drag the window, that's kind of cool. Did you do it to that side? Let's go over. Yes. Oh my. Wow. What a vista. A, a bog. Wow, that... Yeah, I I'm, I'm have to admit, now I'm looking at this and the... Yeah, the graphics are... Well, the scenery is kind of lagging behind. I, I think this might be quite an old ma uh, like route, though. Or, or maybe this is just what Bedfordshire, or wherever we are, looks like. I'm guessing Bedford is in Bedfordshire. There was some... Uh, yeah, it must be. I'm going to have to look that up now. Oh, right. Is uh, is Bedford... I, I bet it's not the capital... No, it's, of course it is. It's got to be. Let's look up Bedfordshire. In fact, can I look it up? Oh, no, let's not do that. I don't want to get the Steam overlay up because you never know what's going to pop up on there. Bedfordshire. Go. Um. Well, that that's the Midlands. Yeah, it's got Bedford in it and Luton. Isn't that where we're going actually? Oh no, we stopped up. Going to Lu we're going from Luton to Bedford. It's got um. Mid-2017 estimate, how many people do you think lived in Bedfordshire? 665,000. So, and, and, and somehow, that's only the 36th most populated um, county in the UK, out of 48. I, uh, I, yeah, I, I often forget, actually, that Bedford is, Bedfordshire is a county. Traditional dishes. The Bedfordshire clan. Oh God! No, no, no! I'm, I'm looking at the Wikipedia page for for Bedfordshire traditional dishes. The Bedfordshire clanger is a local dish consisting of suet crust pastry filled with meat in one end and jam in the other. It's. Uh, I mean, it literally looks like a a sweet sausage roll. Um. Yeah. Visitor attractions, Heritage Railway. Uh, it, actually, just clicking, just clicking the link to Heritage Railway brings up stuff about all the Heritage Railways in Britain. So that's not. Anyway, that's uh, that's our little session of fun facts about Bedfordshire. Subscribe to Simulator Adventures for future fun facts about the counties we drive through in Trainson. Oh dear. Ooh, a petrol station. I've never seen one of those in this game. Petrol station! Wow! I don't think I have ever seen... Oh! We're crossing over a road! It's like a motorway or a, or like an A-road. Ooh. Ooh, shiny golf. Wow. Shiny. God, they're, they're driving pretty fast. So this is like the heart of the country, isn't it? Luton and... Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Ah, break. Well, there you go. Thank you very much for watching Simulator Adventures. Um, uh, <laughs> oh dear. I mean, this is why you don't read the Bedfordshire Wikipedia page. And we're back in the yeah. <sighs> well, that was a, that was a fun scenario. I can see. Um, let's go to the main menu. Let's show you uh, some stuff. Wow. I failed that one, didn't I? 
So, what shall I name this episode? Bedfordshire Fail. Oh dear. Thank you very much for watching Simulator Adventures. Uh, next time on, on Train Sim, I'll try and complete a scenario. I just wanted to get this one done because uh, it's a scenario I haven't, a, a pack I haven't really played before of things. Let's go back to it. Where was it? Let's put bed for them. There you go. So yeah, look, I've only done two of the of the seven. So you know, I I I only just started this today. Um. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> subscribe uh, if you want to see me me talk about um, Bedfordshire instead of looking at the uh, signals. And yeah, I'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures. <laughs> oh no. Uh, still not very good at this game, am I? <laughs>